This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers of All the Way Back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. In the last episode, we continued through the Harbinger, exploring it to find out any extra little tit bits of information. But unfortunately, a sinister presence was stalking us. Some creepy guy staring at my butt like Atten was, was earlier, and we weren't going to have it. So Cray went over there and smacked him up. No, not really. Uh, uh, that sunburned dude came and attacked us. Kraya decided to dis uh, distract him while we went on and found out that apparently they were a master and apprentice and he cut off her hand, thus uh, sensing that we uh, we felt her pain, which means we have some interesting connections to Kraya. But we can't think about that too long. we got to get to the sh Ebon Hawk so we can get out of here. Got to get out of here. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Wait a minute. Didn't I kill all these guys when I was playing as a... Uh, as a, um, uh, as T3 earlier, I guess they re, uh, they, f uh, no, why is it always held on to as, uh, why are you running up on him, uh, dude, at, fire doesn't make me terrorized, only the threat of pet, pain does, oh, that seems to work, actually. Uh, haven't I? I think I'm. I think I'm set to uh, aggressive, if I remember correctly. All right. Dro did they drop anything? Oop, nope. Actually, can we? I wonder if T. Actually, T3 has anything to say. Hey, buddy. Do we? You look like you suffered a lot of damage over the years. Do deet. How much damage? Do we? Do we? Beep beep boop bop bop. So you lost a lot of programs in your behavior core in addition to the damage to your frame? Is that why you don't have your levels from the previous game? I didn't even mention that before. I, I should have I should have brought that up as like, wait a minute, he doesn't have his levels. That's how he does it, because he lost all his programming from age. Do read. Well, I'm sure you'll gain that skill back. I'm glad to have you along, as long as you gain those levels with me. Do read, do read. Uh, ooh, apparently we can, if we have decent uh, repair computer, we might be able to do something for me. Uh, let's see if we have the computer skill high enough. Doo -dee -dee. Ooh, nice. Uh, shut down for a while, this will be over in a second. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, let me take a look. Doo -dee -dee. So we have enough influence with them to see if we can tamper around with the brain. Must not lose the brain! Durrgh. Oops. That's hilarious. You're talking backwards now. No. Uh, whoops. Must have crossed the circuit. Okay, so I don't have enough, uh, um, uh, yeah, I don't have enough skills on the computer to do anything with them, so I'll have to try and max it later. Let's see. Do we, have, do we have enough? I don't think we have enough repair, do we? Eh, let's check it out. Let's see. Just sit still, then we'll, let me tackle the main chassis first. Let's see if we have a, nope. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Oops, must have left my Hydra Spare in there. Sorry about that. I'll get back to you later. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, we gained a level because of us messing with him. Because we messed with his brain! We got, ooh, we got an interface. Oh, that might be a chance to give um, T3 some more skills. Some more skills. Oh, do we not have the level yet? Oh, I need to. I better need to level him up before he can uh, use that chassis. Yep, there it is. Upgrade class two allows us to new, use the next feature. So, all right, let's uh, get demolition up. There we go. Okay, now we can equip it. So now I think that gives him demolition, doesn't it? Or no repair. Okay, this interface is designed to interact with the most standard types of droids, machines, and equipment, allowing complex and detailed analysis of problems to be sent to the droid for interface. Just cool. say the word. All right. Let's keep going. As far as I'm concerned right now, I still want to leave Atten and my main Jedi where they are level-wise. Like I said, I... Although, in between the, the previous episode and this one, I haven't really... Uh, uh oh Okay. Got a cutscene. Don't talk. Be quiet. This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. I'll just break a window, dude. Be right deet! Whoa, well, slow down, repeat that. Then go to the terminal, open it! What, the console? Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? Oh yeah, for some reason Jedi can understand machines. Uh, magic, I guess. Uh, Troy City's gonna open the hangar door by slicing the computer. 
He said you can open the door to hangar. He just needs to access the hangar terminal up in a platform. How can you even understand that noise? I magic, dude. Uh, I'll explain it someday. We're not being chased by hundreds or more stealth skills, Sith killers. Long story, not enough time. I served with a lot of utility droids in the well many years ago. All right. Well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Yeah, don't stop him, Dorkasaurus. No, I mean, uh, okay. Yeah, for some, we couldn't handle this before because reasons. I forgot why exactly. I think it's, oh, that's right, because the core, uh, like, some piece was taken out, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the hangar control conduit had been ripped out by HK-51. Yeah, well, there have been a few episodes since, uh, at last, uh, let's see if there's anything else we could do before we do that. Uh, subsistence damage and operative. Rain diagnostic. Because I think I did all this stuff before. It's all emergency substance rerouted field depot terminal. Success. Although the substance has been re rerouted to the field depot terminal, it looks as like if the only remaining part is the hangar control power conduit. Yeah. Uh, if, if you can find the missing conduit, which we have, should be able to open the door. Okay. Check status of emergency subsections. Uh, emergency lockdown procedures activate hangar bay sealed field. See, we can't actually open the blast doors, right? Or let's try it. Yeah, failure. That's what, because we don't have the conduit. Okay. The door to the hangar bay where the Evan Hawk lies has had its power conduit surgically removed. You can out slice the terminal, make them work out for it. So, yeah, we tried to do that port. Good. Let's go and replace it. That should open it. Aha! Nice! Okay. Uh, let's see. We, I think we went through all the logs already. Wait. Did... Oh, that froze for a second. Let's see. Is it actually. All coming out, going freight needs orbital drift charts. Okay, yeah. The, uh, without any vessel entering or leaving progress is in danger. Let's say we tried doing that. Yeah, I couldn't download it because we need to do it from that, so. Okay, let's see. Don't need those. We talk Oops, Looks like those nuts. Sorry regardless. about that. So, I didn't mean to do that. The only re only I was smug there we go. Okay, let's see. Camera controls, we don't need that. Comm system, we don't need. Because we already we ran the dinos on that, right? Yeah, it was destroyed. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Just say the word. Okay. And then, then we gotta go through there. I don't remember there being anything else in here. Let me do take a quick double check. Yeah, I think we grabbed everything when we were as T3. Up oh, the yeah, there's 3CF. Yeah, he's damaged. He dead, Jim. Okay. All right, I think we've gotten everything. All right, let's get to that Evan Hawk. Uh oh. All right, let's uh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, I just want, I'm basically, the only reason I'm really controlling T3 is so he can be effective in combat, because his shock arm is probably the best thing against those, uh, j against those droids. It does quite a bit, it's, it's, it, as far as I know, it acts very close to, uh, um, to a stun droid. Man, we wrecked house without, oops. Him closer. Where would that came from? Whoop. Ah, well, you got him. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick up the remains. Another one? Ah. Come on. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hold on. Okay. We want to grab those items. No, wait. We want to. Yeah, I accidentally pressed X and it pulled my inventory out. I was like, nope. Okay, droid neural pacifier. That's I think that's good against uh, actual people. Another one. These things are just popping out of nowhere. Thank God, start our jack in the box. Why are why does T three try to? Am I wait no? He didn't put on a shield, did he? Oh no, he did. Whoa, he he stunned me for a second with the uh, with Barbie and Ion. Ha! Take a case of your own mess and just say the word. Okay, any more droids? No, thank you. Yeesh. 
Can we destroy the rest of them on this place? Well, I mean, we were about to leave, so that makes sense, so. Air shield, always good. Really, I save those for either bosses or uh, certain spots in the game where you kind of require it. I mean, yeah, I've, I've fallen and had characters fall before, but it's really not that, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to control myself during this. Right, you are ranged, right? You're set to ranged, okay. Just making sure, because you keep running into combat for some reason. Or maybe set them up to, uh, to stationary or something like that. Okay, you're not going to move, are you? No more dudes. So I want everyone to start moving while we're trying to... Let's see if I have enough for, for cover yet. Ah, nuts. I, you know what I should have done on that previous level? Just max out his demolition. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh, well. That's me not paying attention. Hey, I can't get it. Man. I'm missing out all this, pr all this precious, precious, uh, um, bombage. Just say oh, well. the word. I might reload the old save and just off-screen get myself, have myself getting maxing out this demolition so I can, uh, uh, so I can get, max it out so I can actually get those bombs and everything. Whoa! Kill that guy in one shot. Oh, that good. Although the Gaboran axe has a really high straight damage ratio, you know. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Boom! But yeah, you can do possibly 23 damage with this thing, so you could possibly wreck and just completely destroy people with it. Although it's based on the roll of the die. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, man, I can't believe I didn't even think about just... What, what was the point of buying that, you know, feed if I'm not going to take advantage of it, you know? Well, don't do what I did. Max out your... Max out the demolition if you want all these precious bombs. You know, so you can sell them later. That's really the only reason I say to do that, is to extra money later. I mean, there are ways to get a little extra dough later on. Uh... Yeah, we'll just keep using the strong arm. Ow. Yeah, he wasn't doing anything, probably because of that shield. But, uh... Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Okay. We're getting closer. Uh, looks like we have a room of gas. Okay, let's see what's uh Actually, since T3 usually has the highest skill, right? So it's probably best to probably use him for all of our anything, like, in general. See, because my computer use is... Yeah, he's got a 14 in computer use, but he doesn't have high demolition. What is his demolition rank? That's still pretty good, although I think level... I think total rank 10 is the one they need for average, if I remember correctly. But, uh... Oh, well. Alright, but yeah, let's have him do anything that has to do with computers, because he can reduce the use of parts and stuff like that. Decontamination control, main console commands, warning decontamination. De 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 wow, what's wrong with me today? Man, I'm suffering from some type of craziness. Uh, yeah, I've still got more repair parts, so I'm going to just use repair. So reroute the main con console system. Success, system rerouted, bypassing routine control functions. Let's see, if the ca let's check the cameras out in the chamber. Well, there's gas in there. It sucks. All right, attempt to shut down the cam decontamination system. That's five spikes. Uh, let's see. We could destroy it to open the door, but that doesn't shut off the system. Though. We let's see. Oh, uh, we don't have two. We don't have two breath masks. We only have one. Okay. Well, let me look around first before I decide if I want to shut it off or not. And we could open it. Oh, is that all? Of my only two options. So if I don't mind at dying, we can go in there without turning that off because that, because I have a breath mask for me and T3 can't be poisoned, but and I don't have immunity to. We do have antidote, so we can use it while ever, after the fact, and we'll we'll just use the spikes to turn it off. 
Because I think can't I think T three later on can start giving me computer spikes if I remember correctly. So, all right, now open the door. But anyway, it said success. But I'm surprised with the side computer that didn't cost less on that. But I hear you. All right. Yeah, let me. Uh... Oh, and by the way, when it comes to his like computer spikes, um, if from what I remember, oh, um, I think you can, can only give you some if you have less than eleven. All right, let's, uh, oops, now I'll just, let me, can't make any more, 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 did you not hear me, droid? More! I want all the spikes! Gimme, 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 do it, just do it, mo droid! Okay, I think that's his, I'm out, I'm out of it, all right. Alright, maybe later. Okay, let's uh <laughs> and a lot of computer spikes. Right, yeah, for I almost forgot he could he does that, so yeah, at least at this point in the game there's so much I think he does have a limit, but it takes a really long time for the game to acknowledge that limit, if I remember correctly. A lot of people say he has unlimited spikes, but as far as I know he doesn't. Like at least in the previous game he stopped giving me spikes after a while. Uh, despite me uh, still, although it could have been maybe the game couldn't handle that that those many of item had been randomly generated into it and just glitched out and stopped giving it to me. Uh, maybe they fixed it in this game. I could be wrong, but haha, -ha, the Evan Hawk once and for all. Time to leave this place. Let me just go ahead and save it. Well, I don't think anything's gonna happen because Atten doesn't say anything, but just doing it out of. Uh, out of a uh, habit, so. All right, let's do it. Let's see if there's them and Hawk. Let me take a quick run around first before we start leaving, just in case we, yeah, like I said, if we have any foot lockers or, ooh, an underlay. Uh, that's environmental, so I believe that protects against like fire and stuff like that on your armor. And shield, nice. Let's see. Yeah, don't adjust your TV, viewers. That's just the speed work, uh, working. This this thing's running at 360. I think that's what the it was at the time. I'd be less of like what TVs were running at the time, but when this game came out, ooh, a broken droid. Ooh, a broken droid. Let's check it out. Impact armor repair kit. Nice. All right. Anything? Oh, we got uh, is it just the one. Okay, we know we don't. That's oh, we're checking right. Okay, credits and chemicals. Uh, let's see. Is that it? Oh nope, another broken droid. Ooh, we got flamethrower. Star Wars: The Flamethrower. The kids love that one. All right, let's get out of here. I guess we'll just leave him Kraya behind. She's dead anyway. The lady ramp to the Evan Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Let's do this. Time to get off this uh, chapter one, you know, hellhole. <laughs> no, I'm, I like the prize mining facility. I think it's an, except, an exceptionally creepy area for what they were going for. The whole idea of just a ghost mining station, nothing there, and you find out that it had been HK just hacking the system to kill everyone, but it's almost like a ghost story, you know, with how people were dying and the machines were attacking and stuff like that, so, I don't know, I, I like the beginning part of the game, it, uh, despite the fact that the rest of the game doesn't really play along these lines, but, except for maybe a few introductions and stuff like that, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty solid, I like it. Quick, we're gonna need some time to fire up the engines, let's give the laser turret a workout. Wait, Why? <laughs> Oh, are the droids going crazy? But why did the game say that? Eh, whatever. Oh, or the Sith. Yeah, that could that could be a problem. Wait, the game didn't even say anything about Sith attacking me, though. Whoa. Ah, nuts. They got past. As far as I know, uh, I think whoever we miss, we have to fight. Like later on, like if you miss them, then they jump inside the ship. You know that type of thing. 
That's still pretty cool. I like the addition of like random mini games in this in this thing. Except you could probably just Yeah, I know I've missed a couple, but that's fine. Apparently it takes quite a few shots to pick him out. We've but yeah, when did Sith... The Sith aboard the ship. Prepare to repel the boarders. I think it depends on how many you leave um, alive. If you leave none alive, then, then they say something about um, taking them all out or whatever. But since I missed one at the very beginning, we have to fight them, so... Oh well. It's fine. We can do it. But yeah, there's. it's kind of weird how it just goes from correlation from we escape to all of a sudden we're getting attacked and they don't even say anything. He just says, we need to start up the laser turrets. I'm like, did we miss a step here somewhere? But like I said, this game technically wasn't finished. Early, it was severely rushed by the end. And when we get to the end of this game, which will be a while, but whenever we get to this end, you will tell that the game was rushed. But I can, yeah, see, okay, only two, that's not bad, I mean, you could be more than that depending on a, on a, um, on how badly you do, you know. Yeah, there's no music, which means the game's, oh well. Come on, kill him. There we go. Alright, they're all out. Now we can go back to the... Okay. Oh, maybe I might have to... Uh... Oh, we'll see what happens. Maybe the music's still in. Because the music wasn't working there for a second, so... <laughs> now it pops up, thanks. Yeah, the emulation on the Xbox 360 is not very good. I wonder if it's any better on the Xbox One. Hmm. I still have yet to buy one, because frankly, there's not enough really games that really interest me for the Xbox One that are exclusive to it. Even if it looks like a great system, it's just there's just not enough on it that I gotta go. Oh, I gotta get it. All right, let's get out of here. What the? You just popped out of nowhere like a jack in the box. <laughs> Good thing you arrived now, or we would have left you. And she doesn't even say anything. She just pops up when we notice her. Cray, your hand. What happened? There is no time. You must leave. Okay. Well, you'll you better explain stuff to us later. Okay, what I want to know is where were all the Sith soldiers during this time? Because all we fought were assassins, and then all of a sudden, Sith soldiers would pop out of nowhere and attack us. Like I said, I think there's a few missing pieces missing in this game. <laughs> like, certain scenes that need to be accounted for before we start going to the next spot. So, I really like a Obsidian overall and how they do storytelling and gameplay, but certain things in certain games are just odd decision points. Like... Obsidian uh, has a bad has a bad track record of not knowing how to finish their games. If you play a lot of them, you can kind of tell that um, they're great at telling stories up to a point, and then you're like, "Oh, if they hit us, didn't know dead. where to go with that, if huh?" They keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Hmm. Yeah, too bad there's no music going on. There's supposed to be. I think there is supposed to be music, but. Uh, can you fly this thing or not? Is there anything you can do? Keep as much distance between them and us as you can. Can we jump to hyperspace? Fire on the asteroids, maybe the explosion will destroy them. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. Um, just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Oh, great, Kraya. You After all this t uh, possible tension between you and Sunburn, man, you just decide, yeah, we can die. Uh, let's see, we don't have any choice to do it. No, someone might still be alive in the facility. There's got to be another way. Keep evading them until we clear the field. We'll try to jump to hyperspace. No, someone might still be alive in the facility. Hold on. This is going to get a little rocky. Oh, does he do it anyway? Thanks.
Well, if they're alive now, or they, well, if they were alive, they're dead the planet, now. Maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about making a uh, a, a cut myself joke from from Mister Sarsgar that was uh, chasing us earlier. <laughs> um, but yeah, technically we didn't shoot on the asteroid. I think they did, so they destroyed the the planet. So, all right, well, whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, now that we finally left, now what do we do? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we're being chased by the Sith and chase Sith, and they're chasing after me. Um, let's see. The Harbinger was on its way to Telos? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Let's see. Can you explain you tracked me down? Looks like I didn't cover my tracks well. Didn't I ask that question before? Um, how do you know I was on board the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Ebon? You have to say it's Ebon? Hmm. Uh, that's an unusual set of coincidences. How do we get to progress? I've heard enough. Now this interests me. Yeah, I like how the game sometimes just goes, if you don't care about this, you can just skip it. Um, that's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. Oh really? Or poor writing. But anyway, uh, how do we get to how did we get to Paragus? Uh, how come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. Thanks, HK. Oh by the way, if you can see Kray's model, she actually doesn't have her hand anymore, so uh, they actually decided to Remove it when your hand gets chopped off. Either that or you didn't really could tell that it was there in the first place. It might be something that they just had a placeholder on it because it was going to happen eventually. But anyway, how did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Oh, I see. Wow. Foul language, uh, T3. This is a kid's show. We're having a conversation here. Oh, he just flipped you the bird lady. <laughs> Uh, he says he... Uh, what part of silence did you hear? Another beep out of here and her scrap. No. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get. He probably... Oh, he, said, he called you... Uh, oh, I better not repeat it. Uh... That's one of the weird things about the Star Wars franchise that they never really touch upon is that the fact that the droids are basically slaves for all intents and purposes, but we never really bring it up, and it's never really brought up. As as far as I know, I think there might be some possible mention of a machine uprising somewhere in like the ancient histories, but for the most part, it's never a story part that's ever really tied in because I guess it's not a really important plot point. But anyway, uh, uh, so why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Isn't Jedi more just a monk order, or you know, having force powers more of a frame of mind, really, than anything? <laughs> the next time someone calls me a Jedi, they better be lying in a pool of their own blood. No, uh, not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi can't be gone from Netha. But last of the Jedi? That can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. 
Oh yeah, Revens. But he came became a good guy, right? And all that other stuff. What about the Jedi on Dantooine at Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. If I remember correctly, the game mentions, and the first game mentions Dantooine, the, the temple getting attacked, like, right before the final chapter, like, before you reach the uninhabited planet or whatever. But it's like a brief saying or something like that, but, yeah, we knew about that one, but Coruscant, huh, that's a bit odd. Uh, then the Jedi are dead. Gone! Good riddance! No. Uh, if there are any survivors still alive, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Then how can we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Hmm. Fought? But we're playing an RPG. Of course it can be fought. It's obvious. Let's see, you're going to fight us to say we fight back, so what do you think we should do? Uh, if we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Let me guess what, what role you want to play, lady. Uh, but we have no choice, and any, any enemy can be fought and killed. True, most enemies are. I'll not run for the Sith or anyone. Um, what do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? Hmm, that's an interesting thing. Many more wars were my choice. If the Sith threaten me, then they die. This is self-defense, not war. We messed up, then there's no other option. Uh, if there's some place we could hide or run to, fair enough. Many more wars were my choice. You're not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. I have nothing left to lose now. How bad could it be? I turn away from war once. I can do it again. If I do not try, then we have lost anyway. Today's life is a sacrifice. It's a small price to pay. If evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. Only a Sith will pay the price for crossing me. Uh, a Jedi's life is sacrifice. It's a small price to pay. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But we She's not a fan of Jedi, enough, apparently. And my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Hey, luckily her hand was cauterized, uh, depending on how, how, which story you read anyway, so. I'm sure she can take her herself. You're right, she may need my help. Can you handle things up here? Uh, she seemed well enough for someone who just lost her hand. Yeah. You're right, she may need help. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I just said that. Oh, God. Anyway, um... What makes you say that? I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. Huh. You have an interesting sense of things. Uh, and despite the old lady being cool as a cucumber. What are you talking about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. I think she's nice save there, Ed. show any weakness. Especially in front of you. Why in front of me? That's odd. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me, but she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her, a lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. Wow, that's quite intuitive when you think about it. Uh, <laughs> I'll go see her only past the time. If they'll shut you up, I'll go check on her. Uh, when did you get sensitive? Oh, don't give me that. 
All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. I'll go check on her then. Okay. And finally, we have left Paragus after all this time. Yahoo! So now we are on our way to Telos, but apparently Kreia has a few more words to say to us, away from the prying eyes of Atten and the droid. What does Kreia want? Why is Kreia so interested in what we think of her? And what was her ties to uh, that scarred man who likes to cut himself on Saturday nights when he's all alone by himself in the darkness of his ship? Well, we'll find out something in the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And may the Force be with you.